All right, I uh, want to welcome all of you back. We have about one and a half hours now till one o'clock to finish some work. So we will go at a slightly faster pace. Uh, but the commitment is that if there is anything that is not clear for you, uh, completing the material for me is least important. Uh, the entire course can actually take place in one interaction. So I don't have any uh, attachment to covering all the material. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if you have a question and we can have an interaction in which that becomes resolved for you. Okay, this is Amrita, right? Hello there. Yeah, this is Amrita. Okay, very good. So I, I have a request. Would someone please give me some feedback as to how it is going for them? Hello, sir. Hello. My name is Amrita. Hi. Yeah, the college's Hi. name is Amrita and my name is Amrita. Too. Fabulous. No coincidence. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the session has been really good, like for how long we've attended, the uh, reading part and that was really helpful. I have been lagging behind on my reading because everything is about technology now. So I read everything online, like mm. it's been days since I actually read a book. Mm. Uh, the last book I read was around a year back and we are all so involved with our lives that it is difficult to but keeping a partner and trying at least trying was helpful because for that moment at least I read mm. something that was not online. Mm. So it has been great and um, keeping a promise and also when you told everyone that you know even if you don't build up you should get back and do it that was really good. So till now, whatever we attended have been has been really good. Fabulous. Thank you, sir. Sure, fabulous. Can I can I interact with you a little bit, Amrita? Yeah, sure. Okay. So when you say it is difficult, what does that mean? Difficult? Uh, you mean difficult like keeping up with the promise, or no, difficult no, no, like no. reading? No, I, right I I didn't say it. You said it is difficult. So I'm trying to understand what you mean when you say difficult. Okay. When I say that difficult, because. Uh, from morning till evening, uh, we're in classes, and then if we, if I'm a computer science student, so if at all I'm doing any work, it's on my laptop or on my phone. So if I'm reading anything online, news or anything else, it's all online, and I miss the feeling of a hardbound book reading it. So it is difficult because you have to get out, to keep your uh, electronics aside, and actually take up a book or some other vocabulary or something. So what is where is the difficulty? So that is difficult. Difficulty is getting time, no, no, pulling no, yourself no, into doing it. No, no, no. no. So I, I'm not understanding. So you're doing your computer work, you're doing your reading, right? On the computer, on your cell phone, etc. And what happens? Yes. Does the thought come to you that you should now read? Is that? And then you say, oh, it is difficult. I cannot. Is it not like that, right? No, that's not the thing that comes in my head. See, what, what comes? The that? work I'm doing. Uh -huh. I had the, uh, I was really into books earlier, but now I don't get that uh, en enjoyment when I read books. Like it's like a chore right now. It's I not something that comes innately. No so problem. So I want to bring back that. That is difficult to bring that uh, joy back in reading a book. So the question that is I'm not difficult I'm, because I move on. So no, I'm much. I'm not asking what is difficult. I'm asking what is the difficulty. The difficulty is putting aside a laptop and taking up a book uh, when you know that you can get uh, when you can get what when you can uh, right now for me more enjoyment is reading like there is a question answer website called Quora. Yeah. So reading answers yeah. and other people's opinions on that is more interesting than picking up a new book with a new and because picking up a book is an investment in itself. If you if you start with a book for half an hour and then you are like, eh, it's boring. You've lost that half hour. Yeah, and you don't have anything. Like you don't want to go ahead and you cannot get that half hour back. But at the same time, if I put in the Quora thing, maybe I'll know something about uh, North Korea or some weird fun fact. <laughs> Very good. So, so yeah, so <laughs> if, you put a, if you know that this book is great and you will get hooked onto it, I will read it. But it's like getting into a new course. Very good, excellent. That's difficult. Yeah, yeah, but you're right, absolutely. So, uh, that's the nature of anything new. See, our, um, you know, I'm going to say it in a but bad this way. This isn't exactly new for me. Sorry? This isn't exactly new for me, right? Reading books isn't exactly new for me. I know, but 
books are boring compared to some Quora. That is new for you, is it? Yes, that ah. has never happened to me. Oh, all right, very good. So you you found something more exciting. Something that does give me the joy reading and a little bit more exciting, yeah. But it's Ex short term enjoyment. Yeah, books very are good. Long term enjoyment. Very good. So um, both are important. Yes. So both are. Uh, both are really, I'm, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So I'm going to say it badly. Okay. Can I say it badly? You can say it anyway. It's okay. okay. So human beings get addicted to certain things. Yes. All right. So you you just got to notice, and it's not like a bad thing. Not that you know reading Quora is bad or something. It's just that if it prevents you from doing keeping your promise, then I would say, hey, who is which is greater, the addiction or you? I should be able to overcome it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Don't don't do anything to overcome it. Just you know, uh, make a promise to a friend and keep it. Yes. It's simple. Don't complicate yes. it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Amrita. Sure. Thank you very much. You've been wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, Valchand, how are you? Valchand, far away, people there. Okay, very good. So, one of you from that corner of the room, okay, from one of you from that corner of the room, please tell me what is it that you're hearing? Is it useful, not useful? I want to get some feedback. Please go ahead. What's your name? Uh, Mahadev. Hi, Mahadev. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Go ahead, please talk. Sir, uh, while reading, uh, some some words are not, uh, uh, some words are confusing, sir. While reading, I'm book, sir. And I read, sir, your, your PDF, sir, soft skills, and every day, some words are so critical, sir. So yeah. I will use a dictionary and yeah. find the word and search yeah. it. Yeah, so um, do you, do you, um, what's your mother tongue? Sir, my mother tongue is Telugu, sir. Very good. So do you, do you read literature in Telugu? Uh, exactly no, sir. Okay. I, so, I can understand Telugu. So do you read Telugu? No, sir. Okay. So what is the, what are the languages you can read? Sir, Marathi, Hindi, English. Okay, very good. So, which one are you most comfortable in? Uh, Marathi and English also I will comfortable, sir. Okay, very good. So, what you uh, probably what you are doing is you, you know, uh, you, if you need a dictionary, that's great. There are some applications available online which will help you and, you know, you don't have to go to a dictionary. You can actually just uh, click on the word and it will give you the meaning. See if that... So, talk to somebody who is an expert at reading uh, within your college community. Talk to some of the faculty members and take some coaching, okay? Yes. And there is yes, a sir. lot of material on the web. I mean, if you went into, you know, effective reading, there is a lot of stuff over there. But don't do it alone, Mahade. Yes. Sir. Don't I, do it alone. So who is your partner? Do you have a partner? Yes, All right. Very nice. What's your partner's name? Harsh Jain. Harsh, how are you? I am fine, sir. How are you? Alright, Harsh. So, uh, how, how you've been? Both of you have been interacting, or did you keep your promise, or did you not keep your promise? Frankly speaking, no, sir. I have not kept. Okay, no problem. But are you committed? Do you want to? Yes, sir. I do. You do? Uh, sorry. So I forgot what my question was. So what are you saying? I do too. Sir, I means I really want to uh, do my promise. So what I have done. Excellent. Thank you. Keep Thank my you. promise. Thank you very much. So, uh, you know, you you uh, do you read a lot? No, not a lot, but at times I read. Okay, I very read. very good. And what's your mother tongue? My mother tongue is Hindi. Hindi. And do you do you, are you fluent with yes. English? Yes. All right. So both of you, you know, the point is this. Okay, this is like an invented partnership. So both of you can create it, and uh, then you know, bank on each other's partnership to break through whatever you need to break through. Can you promise to each other again? Yes, definitely. All right, shake hands then. All right, very good. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, keep doing the work, okay? Keep doing the work. If the promise gets broken, clean it up, make a new promise. Okay, that's how you will bring power. That's, will how, that's how you will, you know, keep forwarding your commitment. All right? Yes? If I say yes, thumbs up. Okay, good. Thank you very much. All right.
So let's move on to the slides. Thank you very much, Valchan. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the PowerPoint slides now. And uh, this is where we were in the last, just before the break. I just want to give you a sense of the assignments. Okay. There are about 14,000 participants across India in this course right now. And uh, only 47% have registered on IIT Bombay X, so which is a big gap and I don't know why there's such a gap, but you know still everybody's invited to please register on IIT Bombay X so that you can access the videos and do the quizzes which are associated with the videos so you can really get full value of this course. Of the people who are active in the course, only 55% have actually done the assignment. So the overall assignment rate is about 26%, okay, which is a little on the lower side, given that you are uh, committed to your self-development, I think it's important to, you know, move that number up. So uh, for those of you who have not registered, please register. And for those of you who have not participated in the assignments, please uh, do the assignments. And this is my appeal uh, to all the coordinators in the remote centers to please encourage your participants so that they can go so that they can get full value out of this course, okay? Uh, I'll move on to the next slide now. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like for you to take a minute to create a partner, okay? If you already have your partner from the first session, then great, you should, you should talk to your partner. Otherwise, whoever is sitting next to you is your new partner, okay? So whoever is sitting next to you is your new partner. So please say hello to your new partner. If you don't have a person sitting next to you, go sit, go sit with somebody who is an odd number so that there will be partners of two, only two, not three, only two. And then with this partner, with your new partner, complete the conversation. Did you keep your promises? If yes, say thank you. If no, Take responsibility for it and make a new promise. So can you please do that now? All right, Knowledge Institute of Technology, Salem. If you can see me and hear me, please raise your hand, wave your hands. I have a young participant there. All right, so someone please talk to me. Do you, have you done the work with your partner? Do you have a partner? Everybody have a partner? Yes, sir. We have a partner. Okay, very good. So what I'd like for you to do is make a new promise. Each one should make a new promise. So have you made a promise? If you made a promise, raise your hands. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Any questions, please? Any questions from your, from your center? How will you trust if I make a new promise? Why? If I don't Hello? trust you, what, can, what will I do? I will get angry. No, no. I mean, should I trust you or should I not trust you? Yes. If, the, uh, if the promise has been break, if I again uh, promise him, how will you trust me? I'm asking that. How will uh, the another person will trust me? Uh, very good. It's a very, very good question you're asking me. Uh, you break the promise once, you break the promise twice, you break the promise three times. Then I will not trust you. Okay, sir. Okay, but you know, I have to give somebody three chances. Is that okay? Ah, yes, sir. Okay. And then what happens after three times? The relationship is gone, sir. Beautifully said. Very, very well said. That's the cost. That's the cost. You know, sir. we, you, what you see, really so beautifully touching upon a, a, a very powerful aspect of humanity. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, um, are you failing? Yes, sir. Say, very good. So, can I give you some coaching? Yes, please sir. Find a coach. Sir. You yes, should find a coach for yourself. Oh, okay sir. Okay, so see what I'm hearing I'll, is... I'll, I'll find. Yeah, what I'm hearing in what you're saying is a committed player. If a committed yes, player sir. is failing, the only thing you need to do is get a coach. I'll find and I'll get him. Sir. Very good. Talk to me. Say something to me. I'm listening. So my friends are ready, so they want to ask some questions. Okay, I'll give sure, sure. Them. Sure, please. 
So, uh, how to find a new coach, sir? <laughs> All right. So, uh, you have many so, teachers. I mean, qualities should I prefer while I want to find a new coach? Okay. So, the coach has nothing to do with your success. Okay, sir. Because who you are is a great player. Okay, sir. Coach will only make sure you keep your promises. Yes, sir. Okay? Okay, sir. So, if a coach, tell, if you promise something to the coach and coach reminds you, you will not like the coach. Yes, sir. I agree. So, the only quality that the coach should have is whether you like it or not, the coach will keep reminding you. Yes, sir. Okay, good. So, now you know what to look for in a coach. Yes, sir. To keep our promises, just we want to uh, promise to them that I will do it definitely so that and, we can step up. And you will not do it definitely. Sir, why, sir? Because you are a human being. Because you are a human being, you will definitely not keep your promise. That's true, sir, and I agree with that. Very good. So, if somebody reminds you, then honor that they that you ask them. See, here's I'll give you a simple example. We set up an alarm to get up in the morning, right? Yes, sir. Why? Sir, to wake up early. Yeah, because but we actually have a... we don't do that. We just snooze that time, ten minutes. We just snooze that time, ten minutes and five minutes, and again fifteen minutes. And we will never get up. Very good. So, when you go to sleep, you have a commitment. That's why you set up the alarm. And then, in the morning, when the alarm starts, you keep throwing it away. Snoozing. It's human. Yes, sir. Perfectly okay. Are you human? Yes, sir. Can you laugh at yourself? I do, sir. Very good. But you seem a little serious right now. Are you serious just now? Are you very significant, very loaded, very heavy? A little bit. I know, I know. And that's human, right? Yes, sir. Okay. A little so, nervous. Yeah, very good. So, if you, I understand, I appreciate that. Now, if you can be light and if you can laugh about your own humanity, there's a lot more power available to you. Yes, sir, being realistic. I don't know what reality is actually. So, I'm just saying realities are created. We will talk about that sometime. But what is realistic means what? What does that mean, being realistic? Um, enjoying what we uh, love to do and what we, um, we just do what makes us happy. So, uh, we just don't need to uh, tend ourselves into other things which uh, brings stress to us. So, being real in the sense, we just expose ourselves what we know and what we do. All right, very good. And uh, I just want you to know that most of, most of the great athletes, most of the great sports persons, their muscles are always paining. Yes, sir. So, I am not worried about whether you have stress or not. Sir. I am only interested in your greatness. So, are you okay about being stressed? Okay, sir. Are you? I'm okay. Yeah, see, the relationship yes, that sir. you have with, you like happiness, right? Yes, sir. But you don't like stress. I want to be happy. I understand. Why don't you want to be stressed? Yes, sir. Okay, ah, sir. Both are equal. <laughs> sir, now I'm okay with that. I'm not stressed. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we have an, uh, we were talking about addiction, right? Somehow, human beings have an addiction for happiness. Mm. If I am working yes, hard, sir. if my muscles are paining and if I am stressed, why is that bad? Mm. It's perfectly okay to be stressed. No, sir. Now, when you are stressed, continue to be stressed, but can you laugh about it? I am stressed and continue. Yes, sir. Yes? So, say something back to me. I want to hear what you are hearing. No, sir. I am enjoying. Okay, very good. And Sir? I, and you promise? Sir, what? What to promise you, sir? You promise me that you will keep 
including everything in life yes sir damn sure i will promise fabulous i will take both happiness and stress equally absolutely yes, and many other things and many other things which life will show you yes sir okay sir so that is a mark of a great person okay sir can you hear it yes sir i can hear you and i can understand beautiful well done really well done i want to on behalf of all the participants in all the centers i want to thank you for having this conversation because i think it is the heart of the matter okay sir so thank everybody... you sir thank yeah, you so much fabulous fabulous well done well done really well done thank you all right very good so now we'll go back to the slides okay and uh, that's all there is to it here's what i'd like for you to do which actually happened in the conversation we just had i'm sorry i didn't ask you your name uh, but you know the conversation that we just had you actually took responsibility for your own greatness okay so i'd like for you not now we are short of time but at some point in time i'd like for you to write down all the circumstances in your life that you use as reasons when you have not kept a promise there are always some reasons there are always some circumstances because of this because of that i didn't keep my promise so who has power in your life not you the circumstances the reasons okay then what happens is because i have you know somebody very nicely said that you fail once you fail twice you fail thrice the relationship is gone and get what guess what you actually stop making promises forget about big promises even small promises you stop making so you can't do that okay if you're talking about soft skills the only place soft skills are available are in making promises and keeping them making promises and keeping them making promises and keeping them small promises medium sized promises large promises happy promises stressful promises it doesn't matter life gets lived inside of promises you start making promises and you keeping them fail it's okay clean it up start again clean it up start again that's how you learned how to ride a bicycle and the last thing i want to say over there is welcome to the world of leadership i don't have it here with me but uh, you know i'll send it to you i'll i'll upload it uh, there is a very nice quotation actually it's not a quotation it's a series of events the number of failures that happened before abraham lincoln was elected as the president of united states i'll i'll send it to you it's fabulous it's very inspiring i mean it's so inspiring every time i read it it actually makes me cry i'll send it to you okay that's my promise to you i'll send it to you okay let's move on to the next slide so this is the new promise you're making to your partner if you want if you don't want to go with the specific promise that is on the screen make a promise that is workable for you but don't sell yourself short don't make a small promise make a promise that will make you push any time a great athlete has to go to the next level their muscles have to develop to the next level the muscles pain when you when you actually are developing them so please make promises to your partner right now i'll take half a minute i'll be quiet for half a minute make the promise then we'll continue so i'll give you half a minute to make a promise to your partner exchange your phone numbers exchange your emails and then we'll start again so i'll start in half a minute all right very good so let's move on now uh i am not going to ask questions now because we don't have enough time uh but here's what i want to say here are the possible outcomes from today for you one of the things that stops us as human beings is our fears and when i make a promise that fear may not be there but when i have to fulfill on the promise the fear is much bigger than me who made the promise i made the promise but when it comes down to fulfilling on the promise the fear is so much bigger than me that the fear wins fear is not going to go away 
So don't worry about fear going away. The only thing that could make a difference is when you become bigger than your fear. And we'll talk about that when we do the video on risk. Laugh at yourself and make mistakes and 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 then laugh and then laugh and then laugh. Then be ready to communicate. We haven't done enough laughing at ourselves. We've taken ourselves too seriously. We haven't opened up new opportunities for anybody. We've been so worried about ourselves. The moment you can take yourself lightly, there is some room for you to be able to communicate. And after you've communicate, communicated, there's room to laugh again. All right? So this could be a possible outcome from you today. If you, you know, at the end of today, if you walk away home and you have the freedom and the ability to be able to make mistakes and be able to laugh at yourself, then we are beginning to get somewhere. Then you're beginning to open up a space for you know, being able to communicate. Another possible outcome could be that there'd be an appreciation, respect, honor, and acknowledgement, first of all, for yourself, for others, for your partners, for your family, for your teachers, for people around you, for life and the universe. Okay? That's another possible outcome from today's interaction. I'm just going to assert that all of us want our lives to matter. We want to be free to be able to express who we could be, not one day, not one day, not one day, not some day, not some day, not somewhere, but here and now. We want our lives to matter. So when you create a future from that freedom, you create a feature, future from a place of freedom and then you communicate that as who you are. Okay? So you actually have the freedom to be someone who makes a difference. Not one day, not someday, not somewhere, but here and now. And when you create that place, create a future from that place of freedom, you get to communicate. That's who you are. So I'm going to leave this open now for you to share with your partner today as to what are the possible outcomes that you want to create. I'll move on now because it's, we're short on time, so I'll move on. Oh, actually, I'll take one interaction, okay? So I'll take one interaction from one person to say, what is it that you are going to take, what is it that you plan to take away from today's session? Hi, Gitanjali. Hi, sir. All right, very good. So one of you, please share with me what is the possible... If you were to go away from this session with some outcome, what would it be? It could be a positive attitude of making promises and fulfilling them. Very good. And a nice attitude which make our relationship stronger with our friends. Very nice. And very also... Very simple, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, human beings. It's very simple. Human beings have this addiction of making things complicated. Yes, it is, sir. Yeah, very good. So please go ahead. Tell me, I'm listening. And but when you, uh, we can if we can make it simple by just some words, it would be very easy to communicate with the people rather than taking some distances from the people, uh, which makes the relationship. File into complicated, uh, uh, complicated things. That means which makes the relationship to break due to making it complicated. But uh, and also I get very, an uh, very well I get said. A okay, very well said. That. Thank you. Yeah, keep going. Uh, I have got I have got another possible outcome. Is that uh, now I can confidently tell what I want and I can confidently. Tell who I am to anyone around me. 
so that i can give promises as well as make them possible and also take promises from them and make them possible from them also so i just want you to know that i'm i'm using you as an example to salute salute every one of you for articulating the value that you are committed to generating for yourself okay so for that i salute you thank you so much sir yeah welcome very welcome all right okay very good yeah give a big hand please yeah big hand thank you so yeah, much thank sir. you thank you all right we will move on to the slides now okay so um, ready to begin the journey i guess all of you take a moment close your eyes quiet for a minute no i'm not giving you a minute i don't have time so we'll do this quiet time later let's continue so i'm going to now show you a video okay you may most of you may have seen it but i'm showing it to here because it opens up discussion okay now here's how to see these videos ready some instructions do not look for answers to your questions in this videos these are no life solution there are no life solutions in this videos they are intended to have you inquire as an intelligent human being and see if you can bring value for yourself there's opportunity to reflect and add new dimensions example is that you already know how to walk these are intended to open up a door to now learning how to ride a bicycle once you learn how to ride a bicycle you would not have forgotten to walk so we added a dimension we didn't change it we didn't replace it now i put the word walk and bicycle in inverted commas you can choose to replace those words with anything that you want so what is it that you call walk is up to you what is it that you want to call bicycle is up to you so these videos are really intended to open up some new inquiry it's not an answer it's not a solution okay so i hope that is clear and now i'd like for you to enjoy the videos okay so the first video is now going to be game of communication uh hello i want to uh, welcome you to this uh, short video um uh, we have titled it game of communication uh this is a part of the uh, technical communication skills course as a part of the t10kt um when i'm looking at game of communication we usually don't relate with communication as a game but if you were to look at it you'd probably want to know what is a scoreboard so i'm just going to share with you some of the uh thoughts some of the experiments some ways to empower you as well as uh people you would be dealing with and um whatever i'm sharing with you is things that have worked and because the time is not enough i cannot share with you uh all the number of times that we have failed so um i really if there is one thing to communicate uh what i would communicate in this episode is i would really encourage practice and sharing as a discipline so i'm able to say what i'm able to say because there have been a large number of students and i should say generous students who have uh, given an opportunity for me to work with them and uh, so the practice that was available in doing that and then the sharing of it so from one class to the next class the sharing of the work that got done uh it is a part of the discipline that i have uh come to imbibe so uh, i just want to share with you that as well that practice and sharing is something that i would very strongly um uh, encourage as a discipline um let's just take a look at if communication is a game 
and we want to become effective, we may want to look at what is the game at present. Okay. So by and large, my understanding is that most of us got trained uh, to focus on what you're going to present. Okay. And uh, sometimes once you know what you're going to present, also how to present it. Okay. A little bit more about the shift in the game. If your focus has been on what you present and focus on how you present it, it allows a certain kind of an outcome. So to give an example, we knew cricket to be a game which was played as test matches. And then at some point in time, we started doing the 50 overs, limited overs, one day cricket. And then more recently, we have the T20. Now the quality of participation, the quality of engagement uh, has completely changed by virtue of uh, the scoreboard. And the scoreboard first was given by five days of game and then 50 overs and then 20 overs. When I was a kid, I used to think earth is flat. I'm sure most of you did too till the first lessons of geography and we figured out that earth is not flat. But there was a time when not just me as a child but all of humanity used to think that earth is flat and so the ships would go up to a certain distance in the ocean and then come back because they were afraid that they would fall over. The moment the paradigm shifted, the moment the reality shifted that human beings are living on a planet which is spherical, our entire way of relating with the planet changed. So we're going to be talking about paradigms. So communication, if it lives inside of a paradigm, if it lives inside of a certain reality that I know, that I only knew as a flat earth, then some things are possible and some things are not possible in that flat earth. However, now that the paradigm has changed, now that we have an understanding that the earth is spherical, maybe there are some things possible now which were not possible earlier. So that's the magic of actually being able to recognize a paradigm and then work at the level of shifting the paradigm. So in that sense, I'm actually saying, let's see if there is a shift in the paradigm of communication that we can bring about. So the shift would come about, the access would come about in moving the focus from what and how to who is presenting and who is it being presented to. Okay, So I just want to stop there for a moment. The focus till now has been on what we are going to present and how we are going to present it. I am actually now asking you to look at it from a different angle or a different perspective. And the angle or the perspective is coming from two questions. First one is who is presenting? And if you are the person who is presenting, then who? And you might say your name or you might know, say your designation, but that's not what I am referring to when I say who. We'll see how. And who is it being presented to? Is it a student audience? Is it a group of scientists? Is it a public hearing? You and I know our students to be a particular way. And given that they are a particular way, I then deal with them in, in, in a way that works for them. I am actually asking you to question who you think they are or who they are for you such that then you can begin to shift the paradigm and begin to relate in a way in which it should be effective. So just some ways of looking at it. The moment I say who is teaching, the person who is teaching is someone who is committed to improving somebody's knowledge or improving somebody's understanding. Some of us also are doing it because it's a job. So I'm someone who's fulfilling on a job. So who I am is someone who's fulfilling on a job. I'm a teacher, so I'm fulfilling on my job as a teacher. And whatever the interpretation of teaching is for me. Some of us could even be doing it because it's a duty. I don't know how many times uh, you may have experienced this, but I'm sure at some point in time uh, you've experienced it too. Um, sometimes, you know, if I uh, say thank you to someone, 
uh, a lot of times, especially uh, in an Indian context, uh, the response comes up as, uh, no, sir, don't thank me. It was my duty. And uh, it almost, for me, is like, uh, can I, if it, if it is your duty, can I still thank you for doing it? Uh, so a lot of times, people see duty as something which is what they are. They're duty bound. They have to do it. So that's you and me who's actually doing the teaching or who's communicating, who's presenting. Then there's the other side of the audience or the other, the other side which is the audience where um, who is there, who's sitting over there, someone who's learning because they have to pass an exam. Okay, my, my entire learning, my entire studying is oriented so that I can pass an exam. Or it could even be, I mean, probably passing an exam gets to be somewhere in the teenage years when people begin to see that they have to pass an exam. But maybe a little earlier, sometimes people don't want to be punished or they know that there are some consequences and therefore one has to do it. If you don't do it, then you'd, there'd be consequences. So that's the kind of um, condition or that's the kind of uh, thinking that is out there in the audience, the people who we are trying to reach. So who is there who's learning is people who have a collection of these conversations. So there is one side which is teaching. The who is teaching is someone who is improving, doing a job, being duty bound and the other side we have are people who are either learning to pass an exam or they don't want to have punishment, they want to avoid consequences and therefore they have to. So that's the range that we have with which we've been playing the game. So um, the next step then is to actually inquire or articulate into who are you. The next step would be who are they because without an articulation of who you know yourself to be or who you declare yourself to be and who you know them to be or who you declare them to be, there is no game. Communication is not going to happen. It's going to be just by default in a condition in which we know sometimes it's effective and sometimes it's not effective. But if you are in the game of communication and you want to win, these are two aspects that you may want to begin to articulate for yourself before you actually design the communication. One of the exercises that we could do is that we design a communication and then ask this question. And the question is, what is the question that they, the audience, the students, should be able to answer successfully at the end of your communication? So one more time, if there was a question that you would ask at the end of your communication which they can successfully answer, what would that question be? If they answered it successfully, then you were successful. If they couldn't answer it successfully and there was a failure, who failed? And that is adequate. There's nothing else to be done with that. That's adequate, that's complete in and of itself. When you recognized that it failed, you start again. Okay? And that's where the practice cycle goes over and over and over again. And each time there's a new communication, each time there's a new audience, each time there's a new you each time there's a new them. So with that, the game continues. Thank you for your attention. All right, so um, let's open up a certain amount of discussion. Uh, and if there are questions, I'd really like to take questions if you have. Now, these, this is a video that was already put up uh, and some of you may have seen it. Some of you have, may have even answered the quiz questions. Uh, but a large number of you have not seen it. So therefore, I wanted to make sure that we open it up for discussion and ask if you might have any questions. Okay, so we are right now at uh, uh, Surat Sarjanik College of Engineering. Sarjanik College of Engineering, hello. Uh, very good. So, do do you have a question on the video? Anything you want to ask? Yeah, hello. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Good. Please tell me any questions from the video. Anything that opens up for you after watching the video? Uh, no, sir. No problem. Have you seen this video before? Yes, sir. it was uploaded on the site. Excellent. Did you do the quiz? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, very good. So it's clear. So after seeing it, is there anything that opens up for you? Anything useful for you? 
sir it's about uh, how uh, we uh, learn from the teachers it's about knowledge you know for uh, if you learn for the sake of marks then you won't get it but if you uh, if you were uh, if you try to uh, learn for knowledge and then implement it uh, in our uh, practical life so it will help very good so uh, are you going to be interviewing soon uh, no sir I, I, i am first year student first year no problem so in a so where you are standing is a, in a very uh, appropriate place very uh, uh, powerful place you're in the first year i uh, right now the important thing is for you to learn so the teachers will relate with you a particular way but how do you relate with teachers okay so if you going to go and discuss with them and if you going to go talk to them like they were they were your coach you're a great player you're getting trained to go out after your graduation and be a you know great human being then you are looking for coaches so your teachers then are not just teachers who are there to have you pass your exams but these are people who actually have a lot of experience a lot of wisdom and you become the you become the recipient you start receiving these from them so you don't have to wait who you are is someone who is willing to be trained someone who is willing to be coached if you are willing to be trained and you are yes. willing to be coached automatically the teacher becomes someone who is now going to relate with you as somebody who is coachable and therefore they can coach you yes so it's about how, about how we approach talk to them it depends upon us yeah absolutely it totally depends on you who are you yes. if you are someone who will approach then that's who you are and that's all a whole new dimension of life will open up yes sir fabulous okay well done thank you very much what's your name atharva atharva thank you very much atharva please give a big hand atharva okay i know there are few people but you can give a big hand all right thank you very much thank you atharva bye bye periyar how are you periyar afternoon sir hi so what are you hearing in the video in the video that is a question sir have you seen the but video before who are you? no sir i didn't see it. no problem so you saw it for the first time today yes sir okay very good did you see what is the value from the video yes sir how to behave and how we are and how to do our work with responsibility and how to keep our promises okay very good all right so you'll have to maybe listen to it again and you'll have to keep practicing okay you'll have to spend time on it so that it becomes a part of your thinking thank you sir okay very good thank you very much anybody else from periyar hi sir have you seen the video before yeah just now i seen this video okay uh, in this video what i like what i learned means uh, first of all you know you you know yourself you know what you are and you realize yourself uh, these are the things i have just seen this video okay very good and you should also know that you are not fixed you as a human being are always expanding so you will have new realizations every day inside of which you'll keep growing as a human being very briefly sir okay this phone has certain dimensions sir. it is fixed yeah this phone has certain dimensions it is fixed yeah you and i as human beings are not fixed yes sir we can keep growing yeah every day you can invent a new you every day we are grown up we we will learn lot of things yes we are not fixed sir i agree with the statement so you know when you why i am saying that is because you said that you have to realize yourself you have to realize yourself you have a confidence sir you will get a confidence so then you will concert your works very good so but you have less much of confidence you 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 have a doubt in that things no problem yes, if you are doing something which is new oh. 
you will always have doubts, you will always have lack of confidence. So, what I am inviting you to is that there are things which you are good, there are things in which you have confidence, very good. But then if you want to expand, you will have to ongoingly deal with doubts and lack of confidence. If the thing is new means, I have, uh, I have less confidence in that thing. I have no fully about that thing means, I have very, uh, I have more much of confidence. Very good. So, what, if, you, uh, what you already know, you have confidence, no problem. But yes, if sir. you want to grow, you will have to do things that you don't know. Yes, correct sir. So, then you, confidence will not be there. Yeah, correct. No At problem. the time, so, I create the interest. Fabulous. At the time, I create the interest. I, I have to know what is this, uh, what, are, what are the things is going on. I have to know, I have to know about that thing. Excellent. So, who you are. I create the eagerness. I create the eagerness and willingness. I, I doesn't know about that thing. So, I create the clearness, willingness about that thing. Uh, I have to know. Then only I create a confidence. Excellent. So, confidence is something which happens afterwards. When you start learning how to ride a bicycle, you keep falling. After you learnt how to ride the bicycle, you have confidence that you can ride the bicycle. But so first of all, uh, I make practice, practice, and then I get the confidence. Very good. So you decide that, and you keep expanding. Okay, sir. You keep becoming a bigger human being. Yes. Very good. So, who you are? What's your name? Arunachalam, sir. Okay, so you are always growing. That's who you are. Okay. So, who you are is someone who is always willing to learn. Okay, sir. Who you are is someone who is always willing to take help for your learning. Coaches. Coaches. Excellent. So, you are Coach. a great player. Coaches will help them to how to learn. Very good. So, you are a great player. You understand what I am saying? No, I can't hear it. No problem. So, what I am saying is that you, no matter which game you take, whether you play football or whether you go and do a job, whether you go in a relationship, whether you take care of your parents, all are different games of life, right? Yes. So, you are a great player in every game. No, it is not possible. I am not perfect in all the things. Well done. Okay. Well done. Congratulations. Give him a big hand, please. All right. Very good. All right. Valchand, I am back to you now. So, tell me, uh, what is it that you heard in the video? Anything that is of value? Any questions? Anything you got out of it? I have seen the video before and even now I saw the video, the video of game of communication. Okay. What I got to know is that uh, what you are presenting and how you are presenting matters, but uh, who you are and for whom you are presenting, mm -hmm. that also matters. Very good. And some, yeah, some people uh, do it, teachers do it as a part of a job or as a part of their duty. And uh, the way we are presenting, so uh, the your, audience must know it. Yeah, what's your name? Gunjan. Gunjan, okay. So, Gunjan, uh, my request is not to tell me what's in the video because I, I spoke it, right? I am interested in what yeah. is it that you got out of it? Uh, I got that uh, no matter if you fail, the uh, you have to practice and improve. Okay, I have a question for you. Who are you? <laughs> I am a human being. Excellent. That's a good place to start. Now, let's create something, right? So, who are you? I am a student of engineering. Excellent. Now, you are a student of engineering. Why? Because I am here to learn uh, new things and what I am interested in. Excellent. And so what? If you learn it, then what? If I learn it, I will get to know the new things, I will grasp it and I will be updated to what is happening around me. And then what? And then I'll implement the things. Why? 
because uh, I'll be interested in it or if it would be my duty. Very good. So, what is it? What are the things that are of interest to you as a human being? So, let me ask you differently. 20 years from now, if you were to be introduced at a college, you know, if you were to be introduced in public, how do you want to be introduced? 20 years from now. Uh, obviously, successful. As and, what? Uh, as what? As a software engineer, excellent, because I'm studying excellent. software All engineering. Right. Very good. So, you, who you are is someone who is committed to software development for what? Uh, to uh, to help the developing society to connect with the digital world. Very good. So, Gunjan, can and you now begin to hear that you are now beginning to articulate who you are as a commitment? Yes, sir. Yes. You understand? So, if who is sitting in the class is someone who has that commitment, the kind of questions you will ask are very different than if you were to pass an exam. Yes. Very good. So, welcome to you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, uh, now who are, the te who are the teachers for you? Sir, we have subjects for each subject. No, I am not we interested in subject. Teachers. My only subject right now is you. Yes. So, so what? No. I am the teacher for myself. But no, no, you are not the teacher for yourself. Teachers around you will suddenly not have a job. So, I am not. <laughs> you are the subject. <laughs> Your commitment okay. is the subject. Yes. Now, the teachers around you begin to show up differently, right? Yes. What are they training you for? They are training me to become a better engineer in future and to get... No, 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 no. They are now committed to your success as a commitment. Yes. But you have never asked them. You never told them what is your commitment. Correct. Ah, so now your relationship with your teachers have changed. Maybe. Yeah, it is, <laughs> right? So, my request to you is this, okay? And I'm, as I'm requesting this to you, I'm requesting it to everybody who's participating. My request is start speaking your commitment. That's who you are. And then sharing it with your friends, with your family, with your teachers, so that the teachers actually have the opportunity to contribute to you in your development. Courses will happen, no problem. Classes will happen, no problem. But the game yes, will change. Yes, sir, surely. You see, the game will change. I agree, sir. Very Thank good, you. fabulous. Thank so, you. start practicing it now. Yes, sir, definitely. I appreciate you. you. Thank you very much. Salute to you. Thank you, sir. Thank Welcome. you. All right. Now, we will move on to the last so, we will take another 2-3 interactions because we have about 7 minutes left. Uh, the other 2 videos are available and we will make sure that they are available to you so you can watch them and maybe even do the quiz. Uh, but at this point in time, I want to take 5 minutes to hear some more commitments from you as to who you are and what is the game you are up to. So, let's move on to where are we now? Mepco, Sivakasi. Hi Mepco. A very graph known. It's really exciting being a part of this course. Okay, thank you. I have you. a question, sir. Yes. At the end of the presentation, to know whether our presentation is successful or not, we have to ask a question. How do I choose that question to know that whether my presentation is successful or not? Yeah, so if uh, um, you know how to ride a bicycle? Yes, sir. Very good. I know how to ride a bicycle. Very good. So I, I do not know how to ride a bicycle, okay? Okay, sir. So, please tell me how to ride a bicycle. First, you have to sit on the seat. Okay. Before that, you have to remove the stand. Okay. And then you have to sit. Okay. You have to keep both your hands okay. on the handle. Yes. And step by step, you have to start suddenly. Okay, very good. So, that. but then after that, I will have to do it myself. I will have to fall, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, I am inviting you to sit on the bicycle of the question you asked. Okay, sir. You will have to fall a few times. Okay, sir. So, you first then time. Then the other question. Yeah. Then the other question is, we have stated in the video that our presentation should be within 4 minutes and 59 seconds. So, 
whether this question should fall within that time or after the once the presentation is over after that time after that yes okay sir then the other question which i have is sir uh, today during the discussion you, you told that we must have a coach so that time i, I had a, a question raised within my mind is there a difference between a coach and a mentor or both are same uh it's similar but uh, uh, a coach is uh, in my experience a coach is a little tougher so mentor is What someone is who's closer to a teacher they are teaching you some things coach is someone who is not teaching you because you're already a great player okay does that make sense yes. All right thank you very much i appreciate it thank you very much yeah all right okay singar college solapur how are you hi very good okay. hello sir okay good ask any question actually sir i have a one question i have seen your video and uh, in that it was uh, written that it is equally important that uh, who is presenting and uh, to whom you are presenting and uh, i have one question that uh, after the presentation uh, if somebody does not get your point means uh, in audience if somebody is not getting what you have said what you have presented then who is failed means the one who presented that presentation is failed or the listener is failed so my question is that who is failed in that communication very good. the so, presentation is so that very good so it's a matter of being it's a matter of taking responsibility if i am a teacher and my student did not pass the exam i can take responsibility for not having done a good job if you are a student okay. then as a student you say take responsibility and say i didn't do what was required to do so therefore i was not successful so it's where you are that you can take responsibility it's not both are responsible it depends on where you are yeah. so if you are a student you take responsibility as a student if you're a teacher you take responsibility as a teacher Okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah, I just one since you asked that question I'll say something else, okay? So I want you to know who I am. Should I tell you who I am? Yes. Okay. Who I am is that air pollution in India will not be there by the time I retire. I work in the area of air pollution, right? Yeah. So my who I am, if you ask me who I am, who I am is someone who will make sure that there is no air pollution in india by the time i retire okay now who are yeah, you yeah. for me okay. that's who i am right actually yeah. i am a student huh? yeah who are I'm you i am a student me? doing engineering no no but i'll tell you who you are for me yeah please okay who you are for me is my partner who will make sure that air pollution in india disappears oh So what happens now? You and I have a partnership, right? Yes, we yeah. have. So that's the name of the game. My communication with you is not about soft skills anymore. Okay. So I, it's about uh, interacting. Means how you communicate and how you interact depends on that. Means who is who is gonna fail or not. So if you are my partner, you know who I am. and i am relating to you as my partner in the fulfillment of a commitment then my interaction with you is very different right yeah absolutely that's the invitation so when somebody is going for an interview who is going for an interview somebody who is looking for a job or somebody who is looking for work yeah. somebody who is looking for a job absolutely yeah, then but, he will work yeah, if but, he gets the job no very good but i'm saying if you're going looking for a job then you will get a job but if you go looking for work then they will give you work and you can actually get paid for it but the work that you love to do so you have to present yourself as someone who loves to do this kind of a work and if they are if that work is suitable for that company they'll give you the job if it is not suitable for for that company then you find some other place where what you want to do is available is they they can give you money for yes aha got it thank ah, you so now now who you are going into an interview is not someone looking for a job 
who you are is someone who is going for look, looking for work that you love to do and that love yes, for your yes, work absolutely. will show up yeah absolutely yeah okay thank you thank you very much thank you yeah bye bye all right so um, all of you out there thank you very much i just loved uh, being with you absolutely it was great and uh, you should just know that when i'm having these interactions with you that i also am growing as a human being uh, so i want to thank you for the opportunity uh, and all the contributions that you have made to me and my life uh, by interacting with me and having discussions with me okay we will see you again at 2 2 pm for the next session which is the workplace communication session so till then have a great break have a great lunch and then come back at 2 o'clock sharp to begin okay so bye bye then take care